Hello again, and welcome back to the What Is That video series. My name is Tom Hewlett. I'm the museum's collections technician and researcher here at the Esplanade Arts and Heritage Centre in Medicine Hat. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the data that we keep on our museum artifacts. Most people think that museums are all about things, artifacts, old stuff. In fact, museums are really more about stories. We collect a wide range of artifacts, but they're really not that important without the stories that go with them. Who used the artifact? Where did they get it? Why did they choose that one? The old journalist questions are really important. The who, what, where, when, why, and how are all questions that we try to answer for every artifact we bring into the collection. But the museum has been around a long time. We've been collecting since 1948. So sometimes we have artifacts that we don't have reliable information on or very culturally sensitive information on. So we always try to improve that data as we come across problems. This week I'd like to show you an artifact that we've had to change our data on some because it's not well represented in the data. Being unbiased really helps museums understand and represent the cultures that our artifacts come from. So let's have a look at that artifact now. The artifact this week is a dochin. It's a set of Chinese scales in a hand-carved case made of bamboo. Scales like this are often and inappropriately called opium scales. This type of scale is actually called a steelyard scale or steelyard balance in English. And this style of scale has been around for more than 2000 years in both Asia and Europe. This particular example is from the mid to later 19th century. The beam of the scale is made of bone and it is marked with very fine graduations, though there are no numbers. The pan and weight are made of brass and the strings are either cotton or heavy silk. The string with the weight will slide along the beam and there are different hanging points depending whether you are weighing something light or heavy. These scales were accurate for someone experienced in using them and were often associated with shopkeepers. Apothecaries also made use of these scales and that's certainly a place where a good scale was necessary. There were a very large number of people of Chinese origin on the prairies in the 19th century and they often worked for the Canadian Pacific Railway helping to build the railways as it went west. There were also a lot of other Chinese people working in all manner of businesses. There was also a great deal of prejudice against many of these Chinese people. And one little example of how that prejudice can continue shows through in what these scales were usually called, opium scales. Opium dens were a considerable health problem in the second half of the 19th century in North America. And it is probable that some Dochin scales were used to weigh opium as the scales were very accurate. But it's also very culturally insensitive to suggest that every dochin was an opium scale, and that implies that every individual that had one was a drug seller. So here at the museum, we're always aware of how language changes, and we try to make sure that we're not unintentionally continuing to support prejudiced attitudes. So, thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.